Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to remember how to read music notes and remember C, D and E. Then we're going to have a little exercise that we're going to do together to learn the notes really well. And lastly we're going to learn a bit about rhythm, how long to hold the notes and so on. Hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video we're going to remember the notes that we learned in the previous video. And these were C, D and E. Now C looks like this. It looks like a circle with a line across it and it's just underneath the five lines of the treble clef. Then we've got D, which is slightly higher than C and it's slightly touching the first line of the five lines. And then we have E, which is on the first line of the five lines. We also played hot cross buns whilst looking at the notes. And in this video, we're going to have a little exercise where I'd like you to say the notes and then we'll check to see if you are correct. So what's this note? Good, it's C. This one is D, well done. C D D again, that's right. C That's right, that's E This is D C, E, D, E, and the last one, C. Very good. Okay, now we're going to talk a bit about rhythm. We're going to take C as an example and explain how many beats we're supposed to hold the note for when it looks like this. So when C looks like it does with just a line across it and no other lines attached to it, it lasts for four counts, like this. One, two, three, four. You can do that a couple of times to get used to it. The next rhythm we're going to learn is called a crotchet and it's like this. It's coloured in and it has a line above it which is called a stem. Now we're going to hold this for one beat, one count, like this. One. So this is a lot different to four where you hold it down for four beats. One, two, three, four. Now you're just going to hold it for one beat, one. Now, when it looks like one, but it's not colored in, it's two beats, like this, one, two. So what do we have? We have learnt four beats, one, two, three, four, one beat, one, two beats, one, two, and now I'm going to introduce you three beats. It looks exactly like two, but it has a dot next to it, and that's how we know it's three. Like this. One, two, three. That's really good. Now just practice that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon.